Good morning, you guys. It is Monday the 11th. I have been up since 7.45 because the delivery window for our fridge is 8 to 12. It is now like 10.45, 10, 10.40. And um, I just realized there's a way because it said on the thing, I was getting super nervous again because you know all the stuff with the fridge. It said like shipped, but it didn't say like on the truck or anything for delivery. So I figured out there's a way to actually see all the updates. And it looks like the projected time is like right at the end of the delivery window. Fun. So it's gonna be like right before 12, so totally fine. Um, but I have been setting up my office. It is in order now. It, you, oh, I don't know if I showed you guys before, it was a mess. And so I still have to do stuff to it, organize it exactly how I want it, get it set up, figure out all my lighting situation, but I wanna make sure I'm not putting holes in the wall um, before I know where the lights are because they're like big screws. So when you, this, I'm sitting at the door right now and I want my desk to, I want this to feel like an office but also have my lighting set up so that I can film whenever I want. So I think the best solution to that is make it look like an office and have my desk like in the middle when you walk in. I like facing the door um, and not having my desk against the wall. Um, preferably, obviously I got these big beautiful windows. Um, the closet is over here. Let me just show you this. It's like stuffed with a bunch of things. Um, like I need to go through and kind of organize this more, but at least it's out of the way. So that's like my makeup miscellaneous things, um, beauty things kind of thing. And then I have like all my lighting stuff, which some of this will move and everything. Um, and just kind of random things, dresses, stuff like that. So then I have like the printer and this is kind of Caleb and I's like, I don't know, just stuff that was in the kitchen at our old place. But I figured it's like office-y things, so we'll put it there. Hopefully it stays there. I don't know how he'll how he will feel about that. Um, and now I'm in the opposite corner by the um, closet. And then I have, maybe I'll move this stuff over a little bit because that looks kind of weird with the door closed. I have that little organizer thing, which I don't know if that's gonna stay there. It might, we'll see. And then my full length mirror because I figured with the full length mirror here, it like my body covers up the computer. So it looks good here and it covers up the computer. So I don't want like in the shot, like a big black um, thing. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for outfit pictures and all that kind of stuff. Um, probably some lighting up here. Um, and behind me, obviously this is like the same setup as before. I wanna get like cuter baskets if this is going to stay um, in the office, like on the wall. So obviously it needs to be decorated. Gotta put up all my lights, all that kind of stuff. But it definitely feels like an office now and not just the storage room. Cause that's what it was feeling like before. I dyed, I also dyed my eyebrows this morning. Um, if you're curious, I use, wow, I am so I use the, I think it's called Just For Men beard dye on my eyebrows. I have a whole video about it, but I use, usually I mix medium brown and black because that's what I, they didn't have dark brown when I got it like a year ago or more. And um, I just did medium brown and I actually really like it. So left it on for like five minutes. Um, but I'm also super pale, so that could be why it looks darker than it used to but that's what's going on over here i am happy i got this organized obviously waiting for about probably an hour for the fridge people i gotta organize all the drawers and everything and then i lost the hdmi cable to my monitor i have zero idea where it is which oh actually maybe it's in my backpack hold please i might have put it in here with all my other stuff I love when that happens, when you just kind of have an aha moment. Keyboard done, I need my keyboard um, and my mouse oh, and my aquaphor. I love when you move and then you're like, can't find anything for a while, you know? And then you're like, oh my gosh, I found everything. But this time wasn't as extreme because, you know, we didn't move states across and everything wasn't in boxes, so 
that part was nice. Gosh, I keep waking up and being like, feeling like this is very surreal that this is our house and uh, we get to stay here. <laughs> we own it and like, I just, uh, who let me own a house? You know, that's how I feel. So we, um, or I lit the fireplace and have the fireplace going. I will show you that. Um, and yeah, I just can't wait to get a fridge. Ooh, hold on. Hello, you guys. I have so much to catch you up on. I'm on my big camera right now, like the one I use to film like beauty videos and stuff because my vlog camera has had a lot of trouble focusing lately. So that's what I'm on right now. Hopefully it's okay. Um, the quality is definitely better, but it's harder to vlog with because it's heavy as crap, especially when I did arms today. Let's see, is it focusing? Yeah, so it's having, the other one was having focusing issues. Um, and also this one isn't as wide of angle. You guys don't care. I am so excited. I have so much to get you up on. I have to show you like everything set up, the fridge, all that kind of stuff. And something just got delivered that I am so excited about. So Caleb's mom and stepdad got us a housewarming gift and got us bar stools. And I'm pretty sure they just got delivered. So let's go look. Oh, and I just opened a rice cooker, so that's what's right there. Let's see. Oh, they're beautiful. I can't wait to get them open. I am so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna put these together and then afterwards I'll probably show you guys the rest of the house and like what we've done so far because I don't think I've really updated you other than talking a little bit. So let's put these together. All right, so this is like kind of random because I was, I, I've been eyeballing these leather bar stools for a while. They have them a lot of places. Sorry, I'm trying to get this level okay they have these leather bar stools a lot of places um and then caleb's mom contacted us and was like we would like to get you guys bar stools and i got so excited because i figured we probably weren't gonna get any for a long time just because we're gonna be slowly completing this place you know so now we have the bar stools our house is all like grays but I'm the type of person that likes to mix and match. Oh wow, okay, so I'm flipping this upside down. Oops. I like to mix and match like grays. I like a lot of grays, but I also want to add some warmth. So let's see how I, maybe I'll flip it over. So this is the bar stool. It's called the Bodhi. They are beautiful. Oh, and so comfy. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, it's gonna look so nice. So there's gonna be one, two, three, This is so nice, you guys. I think they were 85 bucks a piece. We got the counter height ones. They're nice and cushy. They feel like such good quality. And it's, it's one of the comfiest bar stools I've sat in because it has the back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we got bar stools. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. They are all put together. Let me go maybe over here by the fireplace so you can see. But this lens that I'm using isn't like super wide angle, but 
I love them. It just adds a good amount of warmth into the space. She's like whining because Caleb's outside doing some yard work. But yeah, it looks so dang good. Um, oh, and there's our fridge. So this is what the kitchen is looking like. I'll just kind of show you quickly. Um, we have obviously our bar cart. I just made some rice in the rice cooker for lunch. Um, and yeah, this is kind of what it's looking like right now. Hello guys. So I don't know what the last thing I vlogged is, but oh, it was, I was going to show you guys around, but my camera battery died and then I couldn't find my charger and I was out without it for a while. And then I totally, I found it in a really simple place. So, so I want to show you guys around, but I also want to warn you, not warn you. Okay. Okay. This is my thought process. I want to show you guys around when everything is nice and clean. But I keep delaying showing you guys this because, well, one, I didn't have my camera battery. And two, my house isn't clean and I like have other stuff to do than clean right now. So I figure I'm going to show you real life and just show you how everything's looking right now. And later on, I can show you guys when it's nice and clean. So here we go. Okay, so I got the new iPhone, the iPhone 12 um not the max one but the iphone 12 so it has this awesome wide angle feature so i can actually show you guys the room and it looks a lot more accurate maybe it still looks bigger than it is in real life i feel like but it looks a lot more accurate to what it is versus it being so narrow so okay now i am picking up <laughs> but this is the only room. The rest is dishes. Okay, so I'm standing in the corner on Luna's bed. But this is our setup right now in the living room. Um, Luna's cage. It's basically the exact same setup as we always have. I am going to get a new rug in here because this one's way too small. It's a 5x7. And we need like an 8x10 so that it goes out further um, around here. And so this is kind of what it looks like. I showed you guys the, sorry, I'm getting used to this new like way of filming. Oh, you can see the edge of this. Oops. Oh, well, there's not much we can do about that. My desk chair or my old desk chair is in here because I'm going to be selling it on Facebook Marketplace. Um, and yeah, this is what it's looking like. So pretty normal setup for us. The TV, my dad... Um, put on the wall for us like we always mount our stuff but he ran power back here so that it can go through the wall down here and there's no cords um and then you know you have your hookups here with hdmi and power and stuff there so caleb's playstation can plug in here it goes through the wall for the hdmi and goes into the tv so it looks very clean um which i love okay so these are the curtains look how nice they look just kind of draped along the um ground i love these curtains if you haven't watched my other videos for moving vlogs they are sheets from walmart my mom's actually gonna bring her big ironing board next time they come in february so that we can iron all of these i just couldn't do it because i have a teeny tiny one so yeah that's there temporarily and then look so my parents brought my dresser oh this is my new desk chair box that i need to get rid of but my um parents brought uh in their truck this dresser this was mine from when i was growing up um and i'm going to completely refinish it sand it down i think and paint it because there are some like oops there's some imperfections on it and stuff so it needs to be like sanded down just from like water getting on it and stuff um get new knobs my dad's gonna make me new feet for it because it has feet like that which are kind of outdated you know I love my fiddle leaf fig here and then um I have my normal mirror that is usually like behind a couch or something but I think it looks great in here it just like opens up the space um and then I have some plants my neighbor actually got me this as a house marine gift which I thought was so so cute what else what else did we do Oh, we hung, sorry, I'm talking quiet because Caleb's on a business call. We hung our calendar and whiteboard on the edge of the um, 
cabinets here. So this is the kitchen and my favorite part, you guys saw me put the bar stools together, but these bar stools look awesome in here. Turn these lights on. Okay, so these bar stools are so comfy, guys. Like, so comfy. They are such good quality. And I love them. We ate here all the time when my parents just came. So see what I mean? Real life, there's dishes all over the counter. <laughs> Whatever. So this is what the kitchen is looking like right now. Um, we have our little, like station of luna stuff slash like you know office supplies we still need to write our uh, wi-fi password here and then coffee station um our new fridge which i don't know if i showed yet in the video i'm so behind i'll show you guys stuff but this is the fridge in all its glory i love it so it is double french doors so this is the um refrigerator and this is the freezer which it is so nice because you have storage like drawers that pull out and so you can organize things way better than like one of the big pull out drawers. I love it. And then what else, what else? This is my favorite time of day because look at oh, the sun just comes in so beautifully. Um, I have the bar car all set up. We are stocked from Christmas time and just yeah. Anyway, oh, my parents left this stuff here. I don't know if they meant to. Um, I hung the Sanos. I love this. If you have a Sanos and you want one like in your kitchen, but don't want it on the counter, this thing is awesome. It just bolts into the wall and then um, you can hang it there. So I just obviously need to clean up the kitchen. Um, the table and chairs put together so see how these curtains look just like more unfinished they just look kind of they don't look that bad but they don't look as finished and polished as the other ones um that my mom did so so i changed out every single light bulb to white light so it's like 500k daylight bulbs um and i love them so especially when i'm filming and stuff so much easier because then the camera doesn't have to adjust to like the yellow light and everything and they just look clean so every single light bulb i changed in the house um i still need to figure out what i want to do with this bulletin board um oh one other thing in the kitchen so i just hung this stuff here for now um this fireplace and everything i want to get a big gold mirror up here i think um but my friend got what made this it is the cutest thing ever as a housewarming gift and so i think i want to keep it on the mantle but i don't know um exactly what i want to do with it i want to definitely do a big gold mirror and then i don't know something else over here but so okay so look at this you guys today we got our fence done We got our fence done and it's, oh my gosh, there were so many birds in here. I'm glad I came out here. So they got off our pile. So Caleb trimmed a bunch of the branches from this tree. Um, oh, look at this, the new camera just focused like that. And it looks so nice. Um, off of this tree up here and stuff before the fence guys got here. So we piled it there for now, we'll probably move it. Um, it rained a bunch yesterday, so it's kind of muddy out here, but they did the fence today and it looks gorgeous so we just got a six foot privacy fence and we love it it is so so bright out here um there's a train going <laughs> oh my gosh look at but the pergola is helping so anyway we got the fence and i was so excited it's just nice obviously privacy wise but main purpose is for luna we were already throwing a stick out here for her she loves sticks um and I just can't wait to hang out here all summer long, all spring long. It is a beautiful day. It is 61 out right now. So I kind of want to just sit out here. Still pretty wet, like I said, from the rain yesterday and then even this morning. But this makes me so excited to get this outdoor area all cute for the spring um, and summertime. So let me share my vision a little bit and then I'll stop rambling. 
Okay, so the sun sets in the backyard, which is one of my favorite parts about this house and we didn't even know it when we looked at it so i just changed it to the wide angle view so you guys could see it like um in all its glory right now this is the back patio area oh caleb <laughs> he's in the window i'm vlogging <laughs> okay he's gone now so we have all of our patio furniture from the apartment and stuff but i don't think we'll keep all of this obviously forever it's just temporary um but i'm going to sand this whole thing down the pergola and like restain it and everything hang some lights up um probably a rug new furniture plants i want to do a good amount of like landscaping um and just maybe some hanging plants some potted ones like i have so many ideas it's gonna be so so awesome i like this little um table thing um we'll probably put some cornhole back here like i mean well we won't leave it back here but we will play probably back around this area um eventually a fire pit and yeah so all right, so this is our room. We have it all set up. And um, my dad also did the same thing with our TV here and hung it and hid the cords and everything. We had to slide it over just because of where the studs were. So I'm probably going to put something in the corner, maybe like a faux tree or some sort of something. Um, but this is kind of how the setup is right now. All right, and this is the current state of my office. It's pretty plain right now. I think I want to do some sort of accent wall here, but I don't know if I will for sure or not. And this is my new desk chair. It's not the cutest, but honestly, I need something more supportive. My back has been hurting so bad lately. Um, I think from a combination of the chair and then the height of the desk with this big chunky drawer, I can't go under the desk. And so... My posture just isn't great. So I think I'm gonna get a new desk as well. And then I need to hang up all my lights and everything. I spent today kind of organizing things um, in here. And yeah, this is kind of the messy state of everything. <laughs> but in here, I went through and organized the closet. It's really weird. There's no um, light in this closet. The diapers are for a friend, not private. <laughs> um, but this is all organized now or as much as it can be at this moment but i have like weights um i went through all of my makeup and completely wiped everything out and threw away expired stuff and stuff that i want to give to family and everything so it's all nice and clean now and then I'm still trying to figure out where I want to put this mirror, if I even want it in my office or if I want to put it somewhere else in the house. Mm -hmm. 